Hey everyone, Mark Spencer here from Ripple Training. Today, we're releasing an update to our popular Titlemations plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. If you haven't seen our plugin, just click the info button in the upper right. For those of you who have seen it or perhaps already using it, I want to show you what's new in Titlemations 2.0, which is a free upgrade if you already own Titlemations 1.0. Version 2.0 includes five new templates, and I want to give you a quick rundown on how they work. I'm in the title sidebar in Final Cut Pro 10.3. I have the Ripple Titlemations category selected, and all of these different templates are assigned themes, and there's no change to the themes from 1.0. So we have a graphic reveal theme, we have a text reveal theme, title blocks theme, title box theme, and title color range theme. The five new templates are identified by this red outline. You can see one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So let's actually start with this one, single bar expeller. Now, it's in the text reveal category because the text gets revealed. Just to remind you about these other ones here, if I skim over reveal down, the text goes down without a graphic, reveal left, reveal right, horizontal reveal up. And then the single bar expeller looks very similar to this I-beam up here, but it's different in a significant way, which I want to explain. So first I'll take this I-beam from the graphic reveal category. That's the existing one from version one. And then I'll add in this single bar expeller. If I play this first one, this I-beam, we get a single I-beam that splits into two to reveal the text and then closes again at the end. Now we can make this look very similar to a single bar expeller by going to the title inspector here and changing the type to either slide right or slide left. I'll choose slide left and then I'll adjust the graphic end so it reveals that entire title. And if I play that now, the graphic comes on and reveals a text. Now this new one looks very similar, but the difference is the I-beam in this case moves to reveal the text, but the single bar expeller stays still and the text moves out from the bar. And that's the primary difference is the text is moving rather than the bar. The rest of these controls are very similar to what you're used to with the other graphic reveal templates. So I can change the position of everything by dragging the on-screen control I can choose whether the animation on or off happen. I can change the direction to be either left or right. I'll go back to right. I can change that bar size, which is useful if you want to have multiple lines of text. And I can change the bar color. I can add some padding. If I want the text to fly out further from the bar, it will still reveal normally, but it'll end up further away. And I've found that very, very useful. And then you can change the text position Y pad, if you have a couple of lines of text, you can move the text up to line up with the bar. And then you can, of course, make the bar larger as already seen. Uh, you can also choose the bar to animate on going uh, up instead of down right here. You can change the width of the bar. I'll undo that. And you can add an arrow or a bevel to the top of the bottom of the bar and adjust it. Um, you can t decide how much blurring you want for the background video. If you don't want it to be blurred at all, you can just turn it off right there. And you've also got an option for shadow opacity as well. So similar controls from the other ones. The main difference is that the text moves out. I've seen this used a lot. I think it's a great effect. And uh, you can look at the teaser video for some examples of how I use that. So that's the single bar expeller. Moving on in the title blocks, I have a new one called off and left, which is simply the uh, opposite direction of all fly in, which where the text and the box all fly in to the right. With this one instead, I'll add it in, they all fly into the left. Uh, and I didn't think anybody would need that, but I've had requests for that. So now you can have all that fly in uh, to the left. And all the same controls that you're used to for the other one are there for position and color and shadow opacity. So that one's pretty straightforward. I'll delete that. Next is this one called multi-wipe, and this is my favorite one in here. And just for comparison, I'll add offly in, and then I'll add in this multi-wipe. So one limitation of offly in, the whole box flies in, the text and the box all fly in together. Uh, you can't do a few things on here. For instance, you can't add an outline on this. Multi-wipe is a lot more flexible, so I'll play it, and in this case, the it's multi-wipe because both the box and the text wipe on at the same time, but you can change the direction. By default, it wipes on to the left and then wipes off to the right. 
but you can change the combination up here to different combinations of animating on and off. You can adjust the roundness of that box and of course change its fill color and change its fill opacity. And there's padding if you want the box to be a little bigger or smaller than it is by default. It automatically adjusts to the text, which is kind of nice. So if I select this text, um, Command A, catch a wave, the box automatically adjusts for it and you can just move it around. There's actually no on-screen control. You just drag the whole thing and it works because it takes advantage of some new functionality in motion to do this in Final Cut. Um, in addition here, as I mentioned, you can add an outline to the box, change the color of that outline, the width of it. And of course you can add a shadow and blur the shadow and move that. So a very, very flexible, simple title to wipe on and off. One way I really like to use this is to stack these so you can wipe things on and off. So I'll take that roundness off. And just to show you an example, let's make this shorter. So it wipes off to the right, wipes wipes onto the right, and then back off in the opposite direction. Hold the Option key down and add another one. And I'll move it up here, and I'll switch its direction instead of right-left to be left-right. And then I'll play with the timing by tapping the period and comma keys because I want this to wipe off when the other one wipes on. So you can create some fun animations with text wiping on and off in either direction. And you can also choose to line these up as well. So they go exactly where you want them. I can tap the arrow keys. I can tap the common period keys to line these up more. And change this text. So that can be a lot of fun to work with. Next is the title box category. The new one is called Centered. So it's a little different than these other ones that offer a scaling option, that offer a uh, type on with scaling, and offer a box that writes on. This is a simpler one in some ways, but it has a lot of good animation options. It also is easy to control because it takes advantage of the new functionality in motion, so we don't need an on-screen control to move it or adjust the size of anything. In the title inspector, you can see, like all these, you can choose whether the animation on and off happens. You can adjust the box roundness, the box fill color, the padding we've talked about, the box opacity we've talked about, outline. Uh, but this also has several text on and text off options here for animating. So, for example, right now the opacity animates from zero and it animates by character and forwards, but you could have it animate by word and the direction could be backwards. And you can also animate other things like rotation. So I could choose rotation and Y and have the letters animate in Y. So there's many options for scale, opacity, position, spread determines how many letters animate at once. So I won't go through all of these options here, but you can determine exactly how you want to make the text on and off the screen with all of these parameters here. So a very, very flexible template here with the center template. I'll delete those. The final one, the final new one in Tent 2.0 is block left ACR. So I had a block right ACR. ACR is for animated color range. I'll attach this and then block left just does the opposite. So if you already know how to use this, you'll know exactly how this works. It just wipes on from the opposite direction. By the way, these new templates were the direct result of your feedback and suggestions. If you don't own Titlemations and want to learn more, I created a video on this channel where I explain my thinking behind them and how they'll help you get more views on social media platforms. If you need help, there are tutorial and help buttons that appear right below the viewer anytime you play it is parked over any of the titles. Again, I'm Mark Spencer, and thanks for watching.